Hello, and welcome to the Product Tech Lab. We're excited to have you here and look forward to helping you bring your product ideas to life. We are providing the solution, Magical Cloud Solution, the invisible shield of protection, cybersecurity. Virtualize like a pro with Product Tech Lab. Application support. Call to backup infrastructure. Blaby and training facility. Technical innovation and idea. Need more scoop on our tech savvy services? Drop us a line at support at producticlab.com or zip over to our website https colon slash slash www.productechlab.com. Pust. We're also big shots on YouTube. Find us at youtube.com slash at productechlab and let's be friends. Thank you from Producticlin and more detail please mail us. Hi, welcome once again the Practic Lab, my friends. So today's video is showing like um, TCP and UDP based basic understanding. Okay, and it is it is showing like uh, what the you know, Okay, I'm not giving any kind of theoretical part. This is only for showing like about the how does traffic flow to one network to another network so look like this okay so this is uh, maximum you can see uh, maximum video you can see the theoretical you know, provide the knowledge but how to generate these things we need to understand so these things i will show in the video so let's begin okay so directly i am going to the wireshark okay so this is my wireshark okay this is the application this application can be shown your packet uh, capture you can do and what is the content how the how the traffic flow is going there okay between two systems so you can understand uh, this thing over this workshop okay so if i see so there is uh, you can see there is a multiple protocol is working in this version like dns ssdp tcp tcp version uh, so this is a uh, few of these uh, working like TCP, few of these working like DNS, like a two DP base. Okay. So uh, as per our understanding, so there is a two type of TCP um, station. That means station is there, one for TCP, one for UDP. TCP full form is transmission control protocol. UDP is the user datagram protocol. TCP is basically completely, you know, this is connection oriented. That means the uh, whole uh, social destination this connection need to be established and technology is required right then they can be communicate to each other but UDP is not required once um, the communication is done and don't bother about the source and destination that's called UDP but UDP not too much more any kind of uh, you know not reliable you can say not reliable protocol you can say and this is the most reliable protocol and this functionality is there okay so need to understand so if you see the TCP protocol, okay, there is a lots of TCP over this IPv6 is working now, you know, there is the IPv4 and IPv6 is there. So in this, uh, you can see this IPv6, but uh, I have uh, another workshop packet capture, which is IPv4 is there. So you uh, you can see there is a multiple IPv4, so there is no IPv6 uh, there, okay. So you can see there is a tarp has been done, okay, ICMP is working, okay, TCP version, uh, TLS version, 1.2 this is working which is um, like uh, over the tcp uh, you can see this traffic okay 56 200 to 56 to so you know you can see these things okay over the uh, over the uh, both the communication between two happy for communication okay so there is 443 and uh, illustration port is working and it is uh, completely working like um, tcp okay See transmission control protocol. Okay, source code four four three. So TCP has few things like uh, CN, CNAC acknowledgement, like push. Okay, 
so a uh, few of the uh, particles that in few of the uh, components is there they need to communicate or they need to be acknowledged by us okay what is the traffic flow so we need to understand over this uh, packet capture so uh, so see there is a few of these things is there okay like um, tcp path which is called to be tcp synchronization synchronization is like if you first okay synchronization is said in that thing if you have machines they communicate to another machines okay system one and this is system two they initiate the communication over the tcp okay so that time this synchronization is happening okay next is this call to be acknowledgement is this acknowledgement is like if we uh, s2 and communication so this is the communication is initiated over the tcp but if we uh, system 2 need to be acknowledgement is required uh, system 1 otherwise this tcp connection has been break okay so this acknowledgement is required and as simple as that at the name and level uh, you can say this system 1 is required acknowledgement from the um, uh, from the receiver for end okay well uh, next is finish okay this short form is spin okay you can see the return it is used for to request for the connection termination okay if uh, s1 s2 is working okay suddenly it's breakdown that time it will be finished will be happy no more data can be sent to this s1 to s2 s2 okay and next is uh, reset okay so if we say the reset part okay there is you know, like um, it is used termination between the two connections okay like uh, say system n and system 2 okay as you see so there is a reset will be happened so as the example if i take there is a two system one communicate system in, uh, system 2 and in between this is communication has break down so reset will be happy okay so this is the main thing an urgent this is a basically urgent packet you can uh, both the communication suppose there is one switch is there okay l2 this is a system one there's a connector system two this is connected to system three this is connected system four and in that case urgent will be very helpful which packet can be more more important that can be uh, defined over this packet so that's called this urgent we can be possible so next is checksum is required checksum is basically what is the that means your transmission control these things can be do it okay and one thing which is like push okay so okay so next is the push push is basically if you uh, see it is used for the required immediate data delivery to uh, receiving host without waiting for additional data to be buffered on the center side so that's called push okay so same things this window this is another thing wnd it is is communicate the size of the receiver windows to the center okay so and all the things so there is a lots of uh, options i mean lots of uh, you know um, section is there that that's called tcp flag okay this is called to be tcp uh, tcp flag 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 okay so this component tcp flag okay and if you require more detail and more deep down in this case so please reach out to us support at the or you can call me 9748667756 anyway so next i want to uh so this thing again go back to the uh wireshark so if you see this um part okay this is a basically 
Now IPv6 is working. Already I told you this is right. So this is IPv6 and IPv4. This is two parts. And in this video, it's not matter the IPv4 IPv6. This is can be shown the IPv6. Okay, so this uh, if we go down to these things, okay. So just a little bit up, okay. To be up. Well, so this video is not mandatory to any IP4, IPv6. Okay, so I'm not talking about that, but I'm just uh, talking about the TCP and UDP part more detail in the live part. Okay, so now uh, you can see there is a lots of uh, things is there. Okay, lots of uh, IP address and uh, communication to IP to access the servers or anything. Okay, so now we can see there is. No, if I take the one example as an example, you can say so. This is mine one IP, okay, 139, and this IP. This IP communicate to this IP, okay, as you see. And this is the communication TCP. And what is the uh, flag? This is the acknowledgement flag. So if I move mm, deep down in that case, so I can see that things, okay, like mm -hmm, this is. Uh, that thing I clicked and see. So, as you see, so there is the frame. First packet is frame is communicate to this those uh, IP address. Okay, next is come to the Ethernet. That means frame has been divided to the you know the uh, you heard about the MTU maximum transmission limit. M what is MTU? Now the question here is what is MTU? MTU is called maximum transmission limit. Okay, MTU. Okay, this, this is MTU. That means if you have a one packet, is like this. Okay, this is when it's come to the frame. Okay, so that time this is um, breaks few things. Okay, like this. Okay, next come to the when convert these things in Ethernet after Ethernet in this part. Okay, so it is called to be MSS. This is layman understanding. No more detail is required, just MSS maximum segment size. Okay, so by default it is different different system different different uh, taking things. Okay, uh, where is the fifteen hundred? Where is the eighteen hundred? Okay. So um, what uh, few of the MTO like uh, one is the fifteen hundred or another is there? It is still depends on the system. That's not a matter. Okay, so this is MSS. Okay, so now this part has been done. Okay, so if I go to the um, uh, these things like um, uh, like this stream has been done, then come to the Ethernet. Okay, 
So this subnet already told you this is a MAC address communication between two uh, between two subnets. Okay. Next come to the there is Ethernet IPv4 version. There is a few of these things. Okay, based on the your TTL value. Okay, this is based on the TTL value can be communicated to uh, each of the subnet. Okay, like this, you can see what is the important part. This is you can see this is a TTL value is 55. So that means if you have a you know, one device, there is a one D5, say there is a one device, there is one device. They communicate that device that means this server one, server two, server three, and server four. Okay, so if you can see the server one communicate to the server two, server two communicate to server three, server four. Okay, so, so if in that case server one communicate to the server four. So there is a two hops can be uh, Required so what is the TTL value in that case? TTL value is 2. After 2, they can be communicated. So in that case, there is a 55 hops. After 55 hops, this device has to reach it. Reached. Okay, this device has to reach. Okay. Clear? Great. So now that part I have to clear. Okay, so next I need to understand about the what is the TCP part. TCP as you can see, this is the port number 443. Okay, 443 already mentioned. Yeah, you can see this is 443 okay and this is the sequence number and destination 4651 uh, 62512 this is called high range port okay high range port and this is a well known port well known port clear okay now uh, you can see the there is a few things this is flag okay i told you this is the flag is there this flag is acknowledgement this value is zero one uh, zero one zero okay zero two zero one zero okay okay so um this information is more required and you can see this is the window size okay this is the window size two four five fifty okay so now the information is there so this packet i can see this packet i can see is like um, you know uh, it is like acknowledgement packet okay this is an acknowledgement packet this is all an acknowledgement packet there is if you scroll down this is the already acknowledgement okay okay i'm trying to need to open on google.com okay what will be happening so if i go to the refresh cool now i want to put it down so this is mm, okay so all i apologize just a minute to close it and to open great google.com is open so this is my this is called this is the things and go down okay cool so you can see that thing okay this is um okay okay as acknowledgement duplicate acknowledgement keep alive cn packet okay txt well so look at this packet okay so see uh, as you see there is uh, cnet okay so uh, in this packet this is ipv6 okay this is ipv6 okay this is also ipv6 and this is a cnet you can see this is a cnet packet okay so this that means if tcp communicate if tcp communicate so cnet is required cnet is required scene is also required okay scene is also required uh that's nice and uh, okay mm, just a minute uh it, okay. so scene is also required
so in that packet this is the ipv6 okay this is the ipv6 and that's not a matter so this is a 4436039 okay 443 is there and 6039 they communicate uh, to first you have, they have done the scene packet okay 6039 says this is a cnac packet okay so this cnac packet this cnac packet is completely called the tcp flag UDP, if you say the UDP part, okay, yes, you see the UDP part, there is none of this, this type of flag is there, okay, you can see, I will show you the UDP packet, let's go down, go down, yeah, this is MDNS, this is the working as user datagram protocol, okay, user datagram protocol, as you see, user datagram protocol, as you see, there is a no, none of this, any flag is using, it doesn't bother any kind of, you know, communication oriented part okay if you go uh, more over these things okay so see there is a none of this in a thing packet acknowledge right now so uh, this is the things okay and this is the udp and the tcp part this is a live uh, we can see it about how does it works and all those things so thank you guys uh, i will listen i will listen in the next video